Hey everyone, welcome to the start of week five. This will be the final week um, of actual exercises. Next week will be a little bit easier body weight kind of things and stretching to prepare for the record PT test at the end of next week. But starting with day one of this final week, um, upper body. So the warm up for today is a plate workout, um, similar to what we've done a couple times before, but go really lightweight. Um, do five to 10 reps of each of the um, exercises in the plate workout and do three sets of those lighter than you've been doing okay overhead arm claps we'll go over again those are pretty easy um, stretching today I just put in whatever you need um, just figure out what what works for you and go from there cardio today is just a simple half mile to a mile run um, do it at a moderate a moderate pace but we're not doing anything super cardio related today all right the main workout for today is push-ups Every time you start a new set, you're going to do a different set of push-ups. You're starting normal, and then close grip, wide grip, and then decline for this fourth set. If you want to do a little bit more difficulty for the first set, you can do plyo push-ups, and I'll show you what, what those are in a second. Okay? And then getting into skull crushers to work the triceps. Um, I can't remember if we've done the single arm snatch, but we'll go over those. Um, that's with a dumbbell. You can, do, you can do them double arm if you want with a barbell or dumbbells. I'll show that. Kickbacks, piston press, which we haven't done yet, and then some rows and then some simple um, cool down stretches that we've done before. Um, recommend hitting the foam roller for your back if you need it. So getting into it, I'll just show you the overhead arm claps, which are easy, and then we'll just show a couple of the push-ups. So simply with just the overhead arm claps like we've done before, like a jumping jack, you're just not jumping. Straight, clapping above your head, okay? I'd recommend 25 to 50 of those per set, all right? Plyo push-ups, um, simply normal push-ups at a normal um, width, but what you're doing when you're doing them is you're pushing yourself in the air and clapping um, underneath. So kind of explosively pushing yourself off. I wouldn't do those unless you're a little bit more advanced uh, or feel comfortable doing it. Um, they're by far not easy though. So decline push-ups for the last one, opposite of what we did last week with the incline. Put in your foot. On a bench or a chair, straight back, and then come into the ground that way. These are a little bit more difficult than, than the incline push-ups we did last week. All right, skull crushers. We've done these before. You can use a PVC pipe. You can use a dumbbell. Remember with these, shoulder width apart, and then flexing. At the, at the elbow, coming down your head, keeping your triceps and your elbows facing forward. All right, don't flare your arms out like this. Coming straight down. You can come to the top of your head or you can come to your forehead. And if you want to do a single arm with a dumbbell, grab a dumbbell. What I like to do is support my elbow with my opposite hand. And then same kind of technique, okay? This will be good if your one arm is a little bit weaker than the other. All right, either way you want to do it. Um, going into the tricep, or the uh, kickbacks, with the tricep, I like to kind of have something up, either that a weight bench or a, a weight rack, something you can kind of brace your arm against. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward a little bit, keep your elbow tight to your side, and you're just kicking it straight back for the kickback, okay? You're not extending, keep it, or you're not flaring out, I guess, just keeping your elbow tight, looking forward, you're just kicking that straight back, all right? And then for, you can come straight into the dumbbell rows, just extending your arm down, and I like to stay in the, kind of the same position. Opposite leg forward, back up, looking forward, and you're just rolling it straight up, keeping your elbow tight to your side, okay? These are your dumbbell rows. All right, um, I'm gonna do the, uh, piston press first, and then I'll go back to the single arm snatch press, all right? So the piston press, similar to a dumbbell bench press, but you're doing opposite arms at opposite times. So when one arm is coming down, the other arm is going up, okay? So you're going to push up, and then alternate as you're going. Just kind of keeps you moving. Okay? The dumbbell snatch is the last one I'll go over today. Uh, similar to the snatches we've done earlier, you can do them one at a time or two at a time. I'll show you one at a time first. 
So I like to keep it inside my feet. You can go on the outside, but it kind of gets in your way. So I like to keep it on the inside of my feet. You're going to row it up, flipping under, and then you're pushing it above your head, okay? So rowing up, and then you can, you can use your legs to help you push. Come down, throw it up, flipping your arm under, straight up, all right? One more time. So you bring it straight up and then flipping your arm under at the same time. Okay? And if you want to do those two at a time, get it done a little bit faster. Okay? Either one works for me. Or whatever works best for you. Um, I think that's all we're planning on going over today. This will be the last upper body day before next week. So work hard with this one. Um, we'll get to lower body in a second.